boys and girls, it's Pastor Kim, and I'm so excited about our craft today. It's about the story of Jonathan and David, and it's going to remind us that God gives us great friends. So, in the story of Jonathan and David, there's a bow and arrow. So that's right, we're making a bow and arrow. I'm super excited about this craft, and these are the things you're going to need. Some glue, some skewer sticks, some black duct tape, some string, scissors, and some white palm pom balls, or you can do colors, whatever you want. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your first skewer stick right here, and we're going to go ahead and tie our string on one side. You wanna go ahead and tie that into a knot. Make sure it's tight. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our black duct tape, and we're gonna get a long strip. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tape down, you see that extra piece of string right there? We're gonna go ahead and tape that down. You wanna move the string out of the way because you don't want it to get caught underneath the tape. Then you're gonna go ahead and wrap that black duct tape around that string just like that and you're going to just a little bit a couple times go ahead and cut it just like that finish that right there and then you're going to take some more duct tape and you're going to do the same thing in the center of your skewer Now you're going to take your string and you're gonna go ahead and tie it down here at the bottom of your skewer. And then you're gonna go ahead and take your string and you're gonna tie it to the bottom of your skewer or the other side. It's gonna be a little bit bendy like this. You want it to bend like that. And so I went ahead and pushed my string down a little bit more to give it some more leverage. See how it's kind of bowing a little bit? You want it to do just like that. You see how it's bowing just a little bit? That's what you want it to do. Now you're gonna take another piece of duct tape and you wanna go ahead and make sure that string stays right in place. So you're going to take your tape and you're going to wrap it around. You don't want to get too much of the bottom of the string, just enough. I have a little bit too much tape, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit more. So see, it's going to look just about that size. And there we have our first part of the craft done, and it is our bow. That's going to work really well, I can already tell. The next part is you're going to grab your second skewer strip and you're gonna go ahead and cut that in half. Just like that. And so we're going to make a feather tip on this side with our black duct tape and then we're going to make a soft edge because we don't want anybody hurting each other on this side with our white palm ball. You're gonna take the tape, it's gonna be about this size and what you want to do is you're going to put your stick right into about, I would say here, so half, half of the middle side, and then you're gonna fold it right over, this, meeting the edge onto this side, and then just squeeze those two pieces together. You're gonna take your scissors and you're going to cut a leaf shape or feather shape and you're gonna just take your scissors and go all the way up to the top and then do the same thing on the other side. Then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut strips. Once you've got that, you have a pointy end right here, you're gonna go ahead and make that flat because we want our bow and arrow to be able to launch off of that back part right there. So the next part is we're going to take a white palm right here 
and this will stick right on there if you just stick it in there but I wanted mine to be a little bit more secure so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on the tip I'm gonna take the palm ball and I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on to the skewer. Pushing it on. You wanna be careful when you're pushing that on. You don't wanna stick it all the way through because I don't want you to poke your finger. So just twist it a little bit and then there you go. And there is your arrow. Okay, so here we go. We have our bow and our arrow. In the story of David and Jonathan, Jonathan helps and warns David by using his bow and arrow. And we learn that we should be good friends too and help when we can, just like Jonathan helped David. God wants us to know that he gives us good friends and we can show honor to them by showing them how valuable they really are. I hope you enjoyed this week's craft and I can't wait to show you next week's craft. Have a great day. Bye.